Joshua Warren is the founder and president of LEMUR, Paranormal Investigations in Asheville, North Carolina. They use the scientific method to research and document unexplainable activity, including ghostly phenomena, psychic activity, reports of UFOs, and cryptozoology matters. Warren has appeared on the Discovery Channel, Travel Channel, and is the author, of course, of numerous books, including Haunted Asheville. He's been on Coast to Coast before. And he's going to talk with us about some astounding moon footage. And it really is incredible. Joshua, welcome back to Coast to Coast. How are you? Oh, doing wonderful, thank you. Good. Good to talk with you. Oh, Tell us a little bit about this footage. What do you think's going on here? <laughs> it, it really is amazing. And uh, to give everyone background, in 1968, NASA sent the first manned mission to the moon, Apollo 8. And it didn't actually land on the moon, but instead orbited around the lunar surface about 10 times and sent back some uh, live imagery to the Earth. And, of course, that imagery was uh, presumably not edited. Well, in 1999, the NOVA program to the moon included a clip uh, of some of this footage. And there was an anomaly that only lasts about two seconds. It's easy to miss it if you're not looking for it. Mm -hmm. That was noticed by a researcher named Charles Yost, who used to work for NASA and is now the executive editor of Electric Spacecraft. And he noticed that in this uh, two-second clip, as the uh, Apollo 8 footage is uh, being shot uh, apparently about 70 miles above the lunar surface, this tall, black, cylindrical object appears jutting out of the moon. Uh, it uh, probably is, well, it sort of looks like a smokestack sticking out of the ground. And just as the camera is about to move past this object, it uh, releases a jet-like cloud, and it looks very much like a smokestack releasing a puff of smoke. Uh, the most amazing thing is that if indeed this footage was shot from 70 miles above the lunar surface, well then this object must be thousands of feet tall. And considering that humans had never even walked on the moon uh, at this point, that didn't happen until the following year, uh, it is uh, amazing to think that an object like this could exist on the moon. And, of course, it raises a whole plethora of questions about what this is and uh, how truthful NASA has been about what is on the moon. I'll tell you, I've been looking at this picture all day, Joshua, and then the series of pictures... And it, it is strange because you can clearly see uh, uh, a, a, this tiny footage, as you say, of this black object. It's got to be, oh, it's got to be at least uh, several hundred feet long, don't you think, based oh, on the size of it and, 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 and the size of the moon? Yeah, I would say so, and uh, right now I'm waiting to get some more official estimates as to how tall this object would have to be if indeed it was shot from 70 miles above. And, uh, of course, uh, if in, and of course, there's very little reason to think that this could be some sort of an optical illusion because, for one thing, uh, it remains stationary on the lunar surface as the camera passes by. Uh, it changes as the camera's perspective is altered. And then, of course, this jet-like cloud sort of drifts to the right and dissipates. And altogether, it's very difficult to think this could be any sort of an optical illusion. And if it is not an illusion, well, then, uh, you know, it raises several possibilities. Uh, in my own personal opinion, of course, uh, some people have speculated that NASA faked some of the moon footage. Uh, if that's uh, if that's correct, well, it's really even less likely this type of anomaly would appear if they had control over the scenery. Uh, on the other hand, if, if this footage is indeed from the moon, uh, then it must indicate there's some strange technology up there about which they've never told the truth. Uh, if so, who put it there, uh, humans or other intelligence? and what is its purpose and of course if this is from the moon and NASA has never noticed it however unlikely uh, then they need to do a serious and immediate investigation to explain the anomaly is, is it possible that uh, well of course you say that as the camera moved it stayed stationary so it couldn't have been a, a, a little blemish on the lens right uh, that's correct uh, something like lint or debris on the lens uh, shouldn't behave in the, in the way that this does and it uh, it certainly shouldn't uh, you know stay at that same spot and have that sort of uh, change as the camera's perspective is altered passing by it and so there's really no no reason to believe that it is some sort of uh, blemish or optical illusion in my opinion 
and there does appear to be some kind of plume of smoke or something right next to it. Yes, sure enough, and I mean, it, it looks like it's uh, it's ejected very powerfully uh, from the top of this, and again, uh, j just very much like a smokestack releasing a puff of smoke, and um, and this is just sticking straight up out of the lunar surface. Uh, you could also imagine that if indeed there was some knowledge that some sort of uh, an object like this was on the moon, it might be easy to assume that from uh, an altitude of 70 miles that it wouldn't show up. Uh, nonetheless, Clearly, this did show up, and so uh, it could be a slip-up of some kind. And even though it, it may be difficult to believe that NASA didn't notice this, uh, you know, they have many, many hours worth of moon footage. It's ironic that this you know, two-second clip would make it onto the uh, NOVA program without anyone realizing its significance. Uh, but still, uh, there's there's no telling really what other types of anomalies like this may be in the footage that uh, has not been released or uh, has been released, and no one has uh, picked up on it yet.